Now, somebody feels like they've been keeping their self stuck. This could be in a dead end situation. They've been, you know, keeping their self like stagnant. But they feel like you're someone that's settled. You've established a life for yourself. You could be someone that's secure financially. It's like they're comparing their self to you. Or they just feel like you've worked hard to establish a certain lifestyle. Um, this could be a major life change a lot of growth that they have watched you make in your life. But they've been keeping their self like stuck. Or they feel like they've been being stagnant or held up. Yeah, this is someone who needed to let go of something. Now, this could be a certain person that they need to release or distance their self from like a breakup or this could be people dead in connections people that could be very draining people that they're just not able to manifest around that they need to separate their self from distance their self from it's like somebody needs to recharge their energy to be able to clear their mind, be able to breathe again. Yeah, because it's like whoever this person is, this is someone that they could be very talented, but they're not able to see their true potential in a certain setting around a certain group of people or a certain person. It's like they've been confused or they just don't know what to do. It's like they're kind of puzzled and they could be upset. Maybe they felt like they would be able to manifest, you know, um, build something with a certain person or certain people and they just can't. This is someone who needs to do some self-reflecting because whatever answers they're looking for as they're puzzled, it's within them. This is someone who has like different gifts, different talents that they have not pursued or showed anyone because they're choosing to like stay stuck in dead end situations. It's like somebody has been putting their life on hold for other people. And they can feel the stagnation. They feel like frozen. And this could be something that went on in the past. This could be going on now. Or this is something that's getting ready to happen. And this could be you or another person. So you have to take it where it resonates. Now, this could also be that someone who they needed to separate their self from and maybe they did not know um, this person was someone that was only there to confuse them, give them false hope, make them feel like, hey, we're going to be able to build this together, build that together. We're going to, you know, obtain some type of wealth, be secure, and they kind of settled for a certain person or with a certain group of people and now they're confused. And it's because this person is someone who has not distanced their self or they um, could have ignored their intuition. Their intuition was definitely telling them to let go, release, recharge your energy. 
and distance yourself. But this could be something that they weren't accustomed to doing, so they avoided their intuition, but now they're feeling stuck. Now they feel like this group of people or a certain person um, is just someone that they're not going to be able to prosper with, prosper around. It's like somebody is seeing clear now with the three of wands being here. It's like they have a clear view, a clear picture of what they want for their future. And it does not involve a certain person or certain people that they've been stuck around. Yeah, this is someone who needed to make a decision to distance their self from confusion and take a leap of faith. Like step out of the box, step out of their comfort zone. This person could have stayed stagnant because they were stubborn. And they're realizing not listening to their intuition has kept them like stuck. In a situation where they're just not happy, somebody is bored, this person could get, you know, frustrated quick, angry. They're all over the place, confused. They don't understand why they can't establish anything with these people or a certain person. Yeah, everything is being illuminated to that person with the sun being here. They're realizing they have to take that leap of faith. They have to step out of their comfort zone. Yeah, we have judgment in the three of swords. Now, somebody knows that they're under judgment. If this person has walked away, they know this is their karma because somebody intentionally tried to confuse that person to keep them stuck because they felt like they would be secure and wealthy. And that didn't work. Or if this is someone who has not walked away, this person is heartbroken because they know this is their karma. This person is in the process of taking this leap of faith. They're no longer confused. This person is seeing clearly. Yeah. Two of Wands popped out in the reverse. Somebody is no longer stagnant. And it's like if they moved on from that person or certain people, they did this quick. At a time that people did not expect. It's like somebody just snapped out of an illusion. Yeah. And it's like they're getting ready to be presented this Ace of Pentacles. They're getting ready to start a whole new venture. But they're realizing they had to get unstuck. With the hangman popping out in the reverse. They definitely needed to get enlightened. And I'm getting. Whoever this person is. They're realizing they were keeping their self stuck. Like nobody can keep you stuck. People only do what you allow. Yeah, it's like they're getting ready to be presented something big or given something big from the universe. They're definitely going to be able to partner up with like like minded people, people that share the same vision, the same goals. This could be someone that's wanting to come toward you, team up with you, partner up with you. 
This could be definitely someone that you're destined to partner up with. Someone that you'll be able to um, build with, have abundance with, prosper with. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So this is someone who definitely wants to, um, they have romantic feelings for you. So this could be like a potential relationship. Like someone wants to come toward you, get to know you. They want to date you. And they view you as this empress. So they could feel like you're this person that's established. And you're very abundant. Now, whoever this person is... This person dealt with a lot of emotional manipulation, but that's over. Like a cycle has ended out. If this is a relationship that they are walking away from um, or they're no longer attached to. This is someone who was like attached to someone who was not, they, they, they didn't work. It's like they depended on this person. And they could have felt as, as if they needed to take care of this person. They needed to make sure this person was secure and stable. But now they're seeing things different. Like they were enabling this person to not want to like work or depend on their self. Take care of their self. And this is someone who didn't love this person. It was more of, you know, emotional manipulation Making that person feel like they have to, you know, make sure that they're straight. And they were just keeping their life on hold for this person that could definitely work, but they didn't want to work. And it's like if they were trying to trap this person with a child, that didn't work. Because this person could have knew. They could have definitely tried to confuse this person. And this is why they're so hurt. They know they're under judgment because they knew once this person ended out a cycle with them, they have this connection with you, with the lovers being here. But they felt like if they could hold this person up, they would never make their way to you. None of this worked. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely knows that this separation is a part of their karma because they thought they could keep that person confused. Um, they were definitely trying to make sure you and this person stayed in separation. So they knew that there was some type of union that was supposed to happen between you and this person with the lovers being here. But that union involved a cycle in and out. And that person would not be able to depend on this person that you have this connection with. Now, whoever this person is, they're ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. So they definitely distanced their self from you because as I say, they were confused. They definitely could have ghosted you as well. You've been separated from this person for a long time. And it's because they needed to end out whatever this was. This is someone who has dealt with um, some type of abandonment issues. This person grew up in a single parent household. 
So whoever this person is that depended on them, um, this is something that they like needed because they had a rough childhood. Maybe they didn't get enough attention. You know, they felt alone. Um, and them having someone that needs them and depends on them, it made them feel a sense of belonging. Yeah, and they could have realized with the sun being here that they were keeping their self stuck because they hadn't healed from these abandonment issues. They have not healed from whatever they went through as a child. It's like they were accepting and tolerating um, confusion, manipulation, and just keeping their self stuck in a dead end situation where it just, this situation wasn't getting anywhere. It wasn't moving forward. It was just staying stagnant. Now, whoever this person is, this person has pictures. This card says, I keep looking at your pic, your pics. And not to mention the videos we made. Oh my God, I will never delete them. So there's some type of pictures and videos that this person has of you. And um, they're watching this over and over again. They're reminiscing about times that they've shared with you. This person feels like they needed to distance themselves from you. Not only because of what they were going through, these abandonment issues, but this person was using like addictions to cope. They allowed addictions to cloud their vision. And they've been trying to get their life like back on track. It's like they've been keeping up with you. They see the changes that you have made. They see your growth. And this has definitely helped them to realize they kept their self frozen. This is someone who feels like the grass was not greener and they're regretting the way that they treated you. I'm learning how to love myself now thanks to you. I'm hearing self-reflection. So you have helped that person to do a lot of self-reflecting especially if they've watched you do a lot of work on yourself because they view you as this empress. You've definitely helped this person to change in ways that no one else could at a time where they felt like they were, they were stuck and they weren't loving their self, appreciating their self, taking care of their self. It's like they were given and given and given to whoever this person is. And they weren't given to their self. That person was not given to them. This card says, I know you are my soulmate. Our bond is magnetic. I'm seeing all the signs. So this is someone who definitely knows that you're the one for them. And they didn't think you would walk away. Yeah. And this is someone who could have, um, they didn't think that you would walk away. It's like, maybe it was because this person was like stuck or stagnant. If there was some type of mutual feelings between you and this person with the lovers being here. This is definitely a mutual connection, um, spiritual connection. They knew how you felt about them. You could have knew how that person felt about you, but they were just caught up in this connection with whoever this person is. And they never intended on you walking away, like pulling your energy back after they distanced their self from you. Now that you have pulled your energy back, it's like 
It's like you showed this person what you were not going to allow. Them ghosting you, this could have also been some type of game to confuse you, to get you to chase after them while they were attached to this connection that they were in and they felt stuck and that didn't work. You just started focusing on your life, focusing on things that you wanted to do in life, accomplish in life, and they didn't expect this. You definitely help this person to learn how to love their self because um, you were teaching that person how to love you with the energy that you're in. And as I say, the things that you're not going to allow. You have spiritual hater. So whoever this person is that they're attached to, this is someone who hates on your spirituality. If you're someone that is spiritually gifted and you have helped this person to see that they've been keeping their self stagnant in a dead end situation, they hate it. Because they feel like if you would have never came along, that person would stay stayed stuck. You and your spiritual beliefs, your spiritual gifts, this spiritual connection that you have with this person, they knew about it the entire time. They hated it the entire time. But they just never counted on you inspiring that person the way that you have inspired them. They never counted on this person um, waking up to like, like having this epiphany. Waking up to the fact that they were in a loveless connection and they were enabling someone to not take care of their self or want to take care of their self. Yeah, somebody is stressed out. And it's like, this person was blaming you for the reason why this person walked away from them. But in reality, it had nothing to do with you. They feel like once this person ghosted you, you didn't chase after that person. You stepped into your power. And you weren't bothered. You weren't sweating that person. And it's because you're not needy and codependent to anyone's time, money, or energy. Yeah. This is somebody who has been watching you. It's like they were watching you while they were still attached to that person. And they could have been trying to like feed off of your energy, um, copy your swag to try to keep that person stuck. And it didn't work. Yeah, I was <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this, but I was getting that this person could have talked negative about you. It's like this is all they did while they were attached to this person. If they knew about you, they talked negative about you. And they felt like this would get that person to view you the way that they viewed you or how they wanted them to view you. <laughs> and it just did not work. It. It made so it was supposed to get in their head, make them overthink something. Because as I say, somebody already knew about this connection way before this person found out. Could be before you found out if you know that this person is someone that you have a soul connection with. This could be your soulmate or your twin. But they thought this would get in this person's head, have them overthinking something, have them like mentally stuck. Them running their mouth about you made that person move forward. It made that person realize that you were moving forward. And that they needed to move on. Yeah, somebody was definitely competing. 
And it's like they have this grudge because they know that you and this person share this soul connection. They could be definitely realizing that the plan to have that person stagnant was an illusion that they place their self in. Because it's like if you and this person have this soul connection, despite the distance, you and them are always connected energetically. This is someone who had to feed off of your energy or try to feed off of your energy by like watching you, spying on you, trying to act like you. And then they had to feed off of this person's energy. Yeah, this is sad. Somebody thought that they just knew what they were doing. They knew they had this person stuck and they felt like by constantly throwing you in this person's face, talking about you in a negative way was going to keep that person stuck. But they can't. This person is someone whoever whoever this this lover's energy is, this person that is wanting to come toward you. The person that you have helped do a lot of self reflecting, get out of this situation that they were in Um They started viewing this person as a blockage. They started seeing the same old things happening over and over and over again, like a cycle. It's like somebody made it obvious that they were jealous, envious of you. Yeah. Yeah. They feel like whoever this person is, they don't compare to you. So by them talking negative about you, um, they felt like you were someone that intimidated this person. This person was upset and mad because they can't be you. Yeah, so I was definitely caught up in a karmic relationship. They're regretting what they did. This is someone who knows that you and them are meant, meant to be together. They feel like they sabotaged the connection because they were afraid. They just weren't accustomed to dealing with someone like you. Being attached to someone like you. But they're ready to take their mask off. This is someone who is ready to come clean. I can't go another day without you. They will never compare to you. I can't stop fantasizing about you. I want to hold you. I know that we have a soul connection. This is someone who was selfish and stuck in their ego and they were being stubborn, keeping their self stagnant.
instead of just taking out the time to reflect and heal on whatever was keeping them attached to this person. Yeah, and it's like at the time where this person was talking negative about you, they thought they had this person stuck. But it's like it made them start looking at you and looking at that person. And they felt like this person is someone that's just, they don't have anything going for their self. They're always talking negative about people. But they don't want to work. They don't want to um, stand up and try to do anything to to make any growth or see any growth or change in their life. They solely depend on other people to do so for them. Yeah, and it's like this person is somebody who didn't expect for you to step into your power. They definitely didn't expect for you to be in this six of wands, like come out having victory. Yeah, somebody just, <laughs> this person felt like the more they talked about you, the more um, they would make their self feel better. But it's like, whatever they were saying, because talking negative about a person, that's a form of spell work. And it's like if they were actually using magic, spell work to create confusion, to keep that person stuck, keep them away from you because they knew about this soul connection, they actually kind of like speeded up the process. Whatever they were doing, it didn't work. Especially once this person realized they were keeping their self stuck. This person is already stuck. For whatever it is that they have been playing with to confuse that person. And this is why they're holding this grudge. This is somebody who knows why they're stagnant, why they're trapped, why, you know, why they're stuck. But they didn't want this person to know or they never counted on them figuring it out. This could be somebody that knows that they're in spiritual jail. Yeah, and they've been physically trying to keep that person stuck. In an illusion that they place their self in. Yeah, a long time ago. This person also feels like you outsmarted them, especially if they were talking negative about you, gossiping about you. And they felt like if they can get a lot of people talking, they would be able to talk on your downfall. You would be stagnant. You would feel stuck. You would not be able to prosper. Yeah, and it didn't work. It backfired. So we have air sign. You could be an air sign. One of these people could be an air sign. And then we have intimacy. Now, what I was thinking, somebody felt like they were going to be able to keep this person stuck with sex. Yeah. You got pregnancy. Somebody was definitely trying to get pregnant or trap somebody with a child. Yeah, to keep that person held up with patience being here. It's like they wanted that person to wait. Water sign. So you could be a water sign. Whoever the person is that they wanted to wait, they could be a water sign.
somebody could also knew that this may not resonate with everyone, but somebody, this person could have knew that you and that person are meant to have a child. And this is why they've been trying to like keep that person stuck, sabotage this connection, stay in the middle of this connection. Yeah. You have let go in distance. This is someone who knows that they had to let go of this person in order to make room for a new beginning. This is someone who found out that you're their person during this separation. Because they could feel the distance. The physical, emotional distance from you. Especially when you walked away and you weren't bothered by them ghosting you. Whatever games they were trying to play to get you to like chase after them or get attention from you, it just didn't work. This is someone who needed to see they were under a love spell. And they needed to be careful of someone that was sneaky, somebody that they were attached to. They definitely found out this person lied about something. Now, this could be about a pregnancy or they're just finding out that that person is a liar. This could be some type of gossip that they made up about you that were not true to try to keep you and that person distance. Yeah. And then you got Gold Digger, yeah. So somebody definitely thought that they were going to, you know, get somebody to take care of them. They wouldn't have to work. They wouldn't have to fend for their self, take care of their self. And they were going to bring, try to bring a child in this equation. This is sad. It's like somebody wanted you to be seen as a liar as well. So maybe you told this person about a love spell. Because you got liar and love spell. Be careful of someone sneaky. So you could have told them to be careful. Um, this could be about a certain person. Or you just told them to be careful about somebody that they could have been in a connection with, sleeping with. Yeah. Yeah. There was definitely a message. You could have sent that person a text message or something like that. And they found out, like they could have seen this actual message. And maybe that person did not know. And this person started gossiping about you, talking negative about you, spreading lies about you. Because they know you want them about this love spell. And if you started, you know, if they, if you want them about this love spell, they started being careful. Yeah, they definitely started looking at stuff differently. And this person, this is why they hate on your spirituality, your spiritual gifts. You expose them. And they felt like if they could talk, if they, the more and more they talk negative about you, they could get this person to talk negative about you and different people that they were attached to. Everybody would be on this hate train for you and your spiritual gifts. After you have illuminated this to this person. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to close the reading out with one of these messages from the universe oracle cards. This card says, the reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you. They have been removed from your life because the universe is taking you next. They have already served their purpose in your life. Let them go and keep moving. 
greater is coming. So I'm getting they definitely watched you walk away from a lot of things that does not serve purpose. And they're in disbelief or shocked at how things have turned around for you while they kept their self stagnant in a dead end situation. They're realizing that this person have served their purpose in their life. This ending was long overdue. Taking a leap of faith, moving on recharging, restoring their energy, doing a lot of healing and self-reflecting, they're only going to see greater things coming to them. Because it's a positive move that they're making. Yeah, so this person is holding a grudge because they definitely feel like you outsmarted them. They tried so hard to keep this person under some type of love spell to keep them away from you and none of that worked. This is someone who could also be upset because they're realizing the confusion that they thought they placed over this person they're stuck in. They're under a love spell. However they feel about the person that you have this spiritual connection with, that person don't feel the same way about them. And they don't feel the same way about that person, but they're stuck because of whatever they were playing with. Yeah. And it's like nobody can get them out of this situation but their self. This is someone who is going to have to do the work on their self. The work that they were not willing to do. In order to get out of this energy, 